So remember the acronym MAID, M-A-I-D, the method of attachment, the intention of the parties, the adaptation of the article. Now this is a good example of the adaptation of an article. So the courts will look at this acronym called MAID. Uh, the method of attachment, we know that when we attach a dishwasher that's personal property into a counter that it becomes a fixture. We know that uh, blinds, when, when those screws are put into the wall, that's the method of attachment. That's a fixture. But what about the adaptation of the article? This is a gazebo at my home. This is our fish pond and we have a, a nice waterfall. And the gazebo here, you could pick up with a tractor, put it on, a, on a, the back of a trailer and move it away without any problem. Again, it's, it's not attached to anything, but it is so adapted to this uh, landscaping and this water pond in our backyard that the courts would more than likely say, hey, that gazebo is a fixture and it remains with the property. So that's, this is a great example of the adaptation of the article or the, um, you know, the, the personal property. It has uh, adapted to this patio area, even though it's completely movable and has no screws into the ground or no anchors, it could be picked up and moved, it is a fixture, it's part of this property. So remember made, method of attachment, the intention of the parties, the adaptation um, of the article, and did an agreement exist? The courts are going to look at that to determine if the article should be personal property or real property.